Debbie Hall, cousin to Amber Spradlin, visited the Floyd County Episcopal Court meeting this morning to speak about some recent phone calls and what she calls accusations. We have more from the courtroom. Hall was first to speak during the public comment and immediately made her intentions clear, including defending herself against rumors that she made plans during the call. About four months ago, I received a phone call from an individual in the jail asking me to loan them money to bail out of jail with. I turned them down on their request and I jokingly told them that they just needed to stay in jail where they belonged because MK would be there soon and I chuckled and I got off the phone. There were no other phone calls. There was no exchange of money. This was not a murder for hire plot as you have been telling people in the community. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Judge Williams denies the involvement for which he has been accused and suggests that Hall should offer the tape for the public to hear. I didn't make that call. She's the one that made the call. She's the, the call needs to be played publicly and let folks hear it. The call was given to me. It was not, it was not given through the, uh, the county jail. The jailer did not give it to me. Once I did receive a copy of the call, I did an open records request to request a copy to verify the validity. But I did not release that tape. Mountaintop News obtained a copy of the recording. Only one section includes any reference to the case. I, I was kind of hoping you'd stay in there until they got MK in there. Until they got what? MK in there. I know. Well, when I come back, Okay. But there was more on Hall's mind than just the phone call during the court session. Only in eastern Kentucky would the Floyd County Judge Executive be trying so hard to make a victim, a murder victim's family member, look like a criminal. It's clear what side you take in the matter. You played the 911 calls for people in the community when the KSP didn't want them released. Uh, you intercepted a letter meant for the Attorney General and used it as an excuse to request a special prosecutor without consulting with the family. And now you're spreading false allegations in the community regarding my character. I've been a respected physician in Floyd County for nearly 30 years and because of your false allegations, my reputation has been damaged. Hall says that she plans to talk with some folks about what she can do for next steps. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.